Hello there and welcome. So in this video, I'm not going to talk about legal issues and the law. Suffice to say that for many years I was always a fan of road traffic law because it was there for people's safety. And I still believe that by and large traffic laws are made for good reason. However, in modern times I do have to question the sense behind some of the laws that have been made, particularly the constant reduction in speed limits, but as you probably know from other videos, I've spoken about that before and I'm not going to get into it here. And as I've said before, people make mistakes, people aren't trained to certain levels, there's certain things that people won't see or whatever it might be, and we need to have a little bit of generosity towards other people's skill levels or lack of. And judgment generally, we're all different. However, I was always brought up back in the 20th century in a certain way of having common sense and the way that some of us learnt or were taught wasn't always the best perhaps some of our teachers or trainers sometimes were a little bit harsh and we didn't learn things the best way because of the way that we were taught and I think modern life by and large has hopefully shown that where we have trainers and teachers we should be trying to educate people and not just punish them and we need to give reasoning behind why we're saying what we're saying that you should or shouldn't do rather than just dictating to people but to that end what i sometimes find is that we can sometimes sugarcoat too much in the modern world and some people just aren't getting it and when something is stupid I think it's sometimes it's good to eventually say when all else has failed, stupid is stupid, there's no dressing it up, it is what it is. Which goes on really from my last video of taking responsibility for your own actions, you know. It's the same sort of thing, take responsibility for what you do. And what prompts me to say all this is that yesterday I was just parked up by the side of the road and in a space of less than 10 minutes on a rural road with moderate sort of traffic levels it was relatively quiet at the time in that space of 10 minutes just looking at traffic coming in one direction three people were using their mobile phone they'd literally just exited a left-hand bend not a gentle one a relatively tight one in a 40 limit and yet it was far more important for them to be on the mobile phone and to concentrate on the driving and the first one was a, a guy driving a, a tyre services van so he was, don't know what he was doing there but he was clear on his phone, you could see it on his steering wheel the next was a person driving a red pickup with a private number plate and they were clearly holding their telephone and as they came round the bend they put themselves over the white line because they weren't in control of their vehicle and had a lorry been coming the other way they would have hit it, definitely and then there was just a car and I'm not going to publish videos of people on the mobile phone we all know what it looks like, I'm not here to shame anybody but it begs the question, doesn't it? Why, after publicity, campaigns, whatever it might have be, you know that using a mobile phone whilst driving is dangerous? So probably in the same way, why do people drive at ridiculously high speeds or why do people drink, drive or take drugs and drive? Why are you still using your mobile phone? And that's obviously a question of social responsibility more than driver training, I would argue. But the thing with mobile phone use is, how many of those people using those mobile phones are just regular, general, everyday people who are probably very nice people? They're probably your family. You know, they might be your dad, might be your brother, your sister, your mother, your partner, whatever they're normal people and in the scheme of things those people will not dream of hurting or causing anyone a problem it's not what they do it's not who they are but the actions of using the mobile phone has been demonstrated in the past are dangerous and it's selfish when I go about my business probably like all of you I'd guess you all think and believe rightly you have the right to be able to go about in public and come home safely without being injured by another person. But yet, mobile phone use whilst driving could change those dynamics for you. There's a good chance that you will be hurt, you will be injured, or worse. And on a motorcycle, you're definitely not going to come off very well. So 
I'd really like to know if you are a person who uses your mobile phone when you're driving. And to be honest, you could argue that using your mobile phone when driving is no different than setting up your sat-nav and looking at your sat-nav screen. Why do you think it's acceptable to drive, use social media or message people when you're driving? Because if that is that important to you, you should pull over and stop and deal with it properly and not keep driving. So even if you think that you are the best multitasker in the world and actually the law shouldn't apply to you because there is no risk because you're so good at what you do, I think you're probably lying to yourself. You've got a very misjudged level of self-ability. And I'm not trying to be rude to anyone here, but it's about time that people started learning that actually it's dangerous and you compromise people's safety and lives by doing it. I remember an incident, one of many, that was in the news a few years ago where there was a dual carriageway or a motorway, the traffic had all come to a stand and the lorry travelling along in lane one, the driver was using his mobile phone and he didn't see the traffic had come to a stand, so he then drove over the vehicle in front of him and killed the occupants outright. And if you've ever seen what a lorry does going over the top of a car, you'll know it's very unpleasant. Why was that guy's mobile phone more important than the people's lives in that car? Just begs the question, doesn't it? I think. When you are looking down on your mobile phone, you are not looking at the road and you're not going to see what's going on. You are not reading the road, you're not reading the hazards and you can argue all you like that, well, I keep glancing up and I'm sort of updating myself, but actually that's not good enough because you're going to miss stuff. You absolutely are. And it depends on what you're doing on your phone, how engrossed you are, how much of that road you're going to miss. But I do think mobile phones is out there as something quite important that needs ind individually addressing. And I think certain studies have concluded that using a mobile phone can match the effects of driving that alcohol or tiredness can have, both of which are extremely dangerous. So let's have a look at a bit of road from a car driver's perspective. And then let's have a look at what that road looks like when we start glancing at our mobile phone just to deal with a very simple message. So approximately, from the time of picking up that mobile phone, to reading the message, to answering the message, putting the phone back down, between 20-25 seconds-ish, even if you're glancing up in brief periods whilst checking that. You've still got your eye off the ball for a long time, haven't you? Well in road use, even a second can make a difference if you lose your attention. You times it by 15 by 20, even if you are briefly glancing up as you look at your phone, it's still got a major impact on your driving. I always find it sort of interesting how many people will put their phone down on the lap between the seats in the vague hope that they won't be seen using their mobile phone. And I saw one just a few moments ago as I was just about to make this video. You know, she was glancing down and it's as plain as a nose on your face that you're on the phone. Even though you can't see the phone, people don't drive naturally staring at the bottom of their steering wheel. So it's not clever, you can be seen. The only thing you have in your favour is there's no police around to catch you very often. But we can see that you're using your mobile phone. And as a motorcyclist, let's not be an under illusion. These people present a danger to you. And so if you identify them, riding around them is going to be quite useful because you'll know that they are inattentive, they may not have seen you and they're not fully aware of what's going on around you. And that's why I like to identify people who are on their mobile phone when we're driving. As I say, I don't want to be rude to anyone. I'm not trying to shame anyone and that's why I'm not posting videos of people on mobile phones. However, if you know someone that likes using their mobile phone whilst driving and doesn't think that there's a reason that they should not use it, 
please send them the video or get them to post in the comments or if you yourself think it's fine to use your phone give your justification I'd be very interested to see what you think we all want to go out get from A to B do our journeys live our lives and come home unscathed nobody wants to get wiped out because of someone else's selfish stupidity so please keep yourself safe keep your observations going and just be aware of how mobile phones can have a very very negative impact on people's lives when used when driving so until next time ride safe and take care